Yes. A very strong and powerful way to start the show. You're warmly welcome to the Ladies Circle on TV3. We are live on DSTV Channel 279, and we're back in our studios. Last week, we were at the VGMAs, where we had a good time, all the glam and all of that. But today, we're here in our TV3 studios with our live audience. It's good to have you. I hope you didn't miss us too much. But it's good to have you indeed. And today we get to see, you know, who our guest is. We get to interact with her. Very, very strong woman indeed. But I'd like to find out really quickly how our week went. While you think about it, though, while you think about it. Uh -huh. This show is proudly sponsored by Yaz. And Yaz is saying that, you know, Ghana's number one family care brand, which is Yaz, has introduced the new extra long sanitary pad into the Ghanaian market. Yaz extra long pad with soft, flexible wings uh, gives you all in one protection for up to nine hours, no matter your feminine care needs. Now, whether it's your flow, whether it's mugginess or leaks, are uh, all in one special pearl cotton and super absorbent sheet. Mop in all fluids faster, keeping you fresh and tidy. It's extra long size, uh, it's extra long size, uh, provides extra protection and gives maximum comfort as well. The new Yaz Purple Sanitary Pack contains nine extra long pads, two normal flow pads and a free extra long panty liner each. The Purple Experience is simply lit. Yes, caring brand for caring families. Anita, I want to know the highlights of your week, though. The highlight of my week, yes. Eh? <laughs> the week after the VGM. The highlight of my week, eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go, yeah. Hey, hey. you hey. don't want to. Hey. A, a little hint would do. No, hey. I don't want to talk about it. But it's been a great week. I've okay. had, I've had a great week. Uh, it's been very relaxing for me as Ooh. well. A little bit of work in there, but uh, I'm excited. You know, Saturday is here, of course. Our weekends are always packed mm. for a lady circle towards GMB. So I'm excited. Nice one. Yes. Nice one. <laughs> She gave us some subtle cues, and we have taken them in good yes. faith. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my well. week has also been very, very exciting, but I'll just put everything to today. Today is my friend's birthday, Essen oh. My senior from Ibri Girl, so many years senior from Ibri yeah. Girls is her birthday. So Essen wherever you are, happy birthday. Sorry I missed the lunch. Oh, it's fine. Well, that's good to hear as well. Yesterday, we had the 3FM dance challenge, the finals here, and I it was saw. insane. I'm I telling saw. you, it was so much fun. It was like a whole party. On Della the was like on, on another no, new Della level. Don't start. So Della, Michelle, Please, next time, invite him. me. Hey. You were invited and you didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing stuff. You should have come. Anita, we're looking forward to see you dancing. I think my, my, my favorite was Fafa. <laughs> oh, Fafa well, from APL. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fafa was a lot of energy and <laughs> I couldn't do but oh, I saw the yeah. videos and it was so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> indeed, indeed. So we'll certainly do it again. Uh, 3FM 92.7. Stay tuned uh, to that as well. Now it's time for us to see who our guest for today is. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yes. yes. Let's take a look. <laughs> Eno Ajwa Amankwa Nyame Adom, known professionally by her stage name Eno Baroni, is a Ghanaian rapper and songwriter born in Tema Accra. She released her debut single What's My Name and also Tonga, the remix of the track Tonga by Joey B, featuring Sakodia in 2014, that lifted her into the limelight. Eno Baroni is our guest host today. Eno Baroni is our guest host today. Yes, as she calls herself Africa's finest rap goddess is Eno Baroni. <laughs> <laughs> killed it you look absolutely fantastic yeah. thank you thank wow. you wow you're welcome to the lady circle thank you for having me here how are you doing i'm good how yeah. are you very well thank you we saw your performance on saturday yeah. oh well, well, it was on friday, friday. rather friday yeah. yeah absolutely fantastic thank well you. it's good to have you we'll get into more of our stories for today but our, que our question for today is where is your preferred wedding venue now, I'm opening up to, to the guys as well, okay? So, the guys watching, to all the ladies, <laughs> where is your preferred wedding venue? Let us know uh, on social media, hashtag the ladies circle, and you can tag at TV3 Ghana as well. We'll be back after the break with more discussions, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back, it's still the ladies circle. We're live on TV3. And we're streaming live on Facebook. It is TV3 Ghana. And this program is proudly brought to you by Yaz Sanitary Pad. And Yaz has a message for you. It says, Ghana's number one family care brand. Yaz has introduced a new extra long sanitary pad. 
onto the Ghanaian market. Yas extra long pad with soft flexible wings gives you all in one protection for up to nine hours, no matter your feminine care needs. Whether it's your flow, mugginess, or leaks, are uh, all in one special pearl cotton and super absorbent sheet. Mops in all fluids faster, keeping you fresh and tidy. It's extra long size, provides extra protection and gives maximum comfort. The new Yas Purple Sanitary Pack contains nine extra long pads, two normal flow pads, and a free extra long panty liner each. The purple experience is simply lit. Yas Caring Brand for caring families. Of course, you need to get yourself some Yas. It is the best on the market. Now, let's get into our first story for tonight. And it is a story that will get a lot of people thinking. A lot of people will be wondering if indeed my marriage is indeed valid or not. It says, the Registrar of Marriages at the Registrar General's Department, Mrs. Jemima Wari, has expressed worry at a growing trend where people contract marriages at unlicensed venues under the supervision of some officers of some metropolitan assemblies without a special license issued by the Registrar of Marriages, which makes those marriages invalid. The word here is invalid. Hmm. Kindly note this, marriages are to be contracted from Mondays to Saturdays between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Also, public holidays and Sundays are out. The approved persons to be present are the celebrant, the gazetted minister with two or more witnesses, as well as any other person who will be invited to attend, and the venue must be licensed. And if your pastor is not gazetted by the attorney general, any marriage officiated by him is invalid. So now the question is, how many marriages in Ghana are invalid? I'm sure we have a lot. How many? Thousands, right? But ladies, first of all, let me, let me start off with you, Enu. Yeah. Our question for today is, where is your preferred wedding destination? Have you ever thought about it? Where you want to get married? Yeah, in my father's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a smart one. Yeah. But both, both the traditional the, and the wedding. wedding, everything. I'm lucky. My dad is a reverend minister. So, so oh, it makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. okay. I get it. I get yeah. It. But I'm talking about marriages being invalid and when it comes to, uh, you know, your, your pastor not being gazetted and also the venue and everything. What are your yeah. thoughts on it? Because we, we've seen marriages in some places and they're saying the beaches and even hotels that are not licensed. If mm -hmm. you get married, that means your marriage is invalid. <laughs> well, I, I don't really go with that because me, I feel like the marriage itself is the one that actually your dad, your uncles and whatever actually take your bride price, the customs are done. The mm -hmm. rest is just copied. So I, I think it's still valid. It's still valid. Yeah. And when, you, when you've done the traditional one, yeah. that, there's that school of thought as well. And I, I think I support that. But Krista, what do you think? Because when I read this, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. It makes a lot of sense. I had this um, some years ago. I was asking, you know, we're, we're just having conversations. Uh, you know, I do I MC weddings and things. So I was having conversations with some of these people. And I shared, you know, the fact that I, I'm, I think that beach weddings and garden weddings are beautiful. I actually have been thinking along those lines. And, you know, then we got into the conversation. I realized that it actually is true. We have the marriage ordinance or the marriage act, which lets you know where you can get married and all of these things. And I feel like not many people know because I want to get married, then we have the traditional way. Because I think, I think it's because we also have the split. So there's always, let's do the drinks thing and then that's it. But then if you're going to sign, you have to make sure that all these things are in place. And there are actually three different um, ways to go about this. Apparently, there is the, um, make, uh, let me just make a quick reference. We have the um, registrar certificates. So you have to go to um, you know, the registrar and then make an application where you get the application going through and um, they publish it and that serves as you know the public notice so as we do is in the church you know in the church we do like bands of marriage for three mm -hmm. consecutive sundays yeah. so that's the that's the church side as well and with that is a marriage officiate or of, officer pardon me so they give you a certificate for that so you can choose either of the two and then the third one is a special um, certificates that you get and you can choose to do any one of these um, with the church or you can you know go to the registrar and get it done but with a special one as well you have to get it done on the date that you state that you are going to get married so if you tell them 25th july 2020 make sure you're doing on that day and within the time range you can't go and get it done on another day and say you had a special certificate for it then it will be null and void as well. Okay. So yeah, hmm. it does exist, and people don't know the details, but I'll always direct them to the Marriages Act of Ghana for yeah. further yeah, explanation. Abna, so let's, let's talk about people who didn't know about all of this, mm -hmm. and they've gotten married. What's the way forward, basically? Hmm. 
I think they should, you know, first of all, why would you not do your research before getting But did you know? My, yeah, I knew. I knew, like, basically, you should know that, okay, is this place registered? Mm. As far as maybe you want to have it at a particular venue, most of the popular venues, I'm sure, like, the hotels are yeah. registered and all that. So, first of all, it should be a venue where um, it's registered and maybe when it comes to maybe the traditional ones that we do at home, um, I think the registration is necessary to make the marriage valid in case there are challenges earlier, or maybe in the case of divorce, in the case of any issue that comes out, like, you know, the family, everybody recognizes the family. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the law, is it recognized? Mm -hmm. That is, like, because of that reason, that is why you have to make sure exactly. your venue is. But I checked online, there's not actually a registry online mm -hmm. where you can find, you know, um, the venues that are registered, but yeah. I'm sure when you go to, the you do the proper general. thing, go to the register general, yeah. like all those details should be there. So if you did not know before that, you can't get like, I want to ma get married at the beach. I yes, haven't so. chosen the beach yet, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure that the venue has been registered. Exactly. Yeah. And the officiating minister has to be well. gazetted. Yes, right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I think you can find out all of these at the registrar generals. Yeah. Always just keep asking questions. I feel like we grow up not uh, being encouraged yeah. to ask questions. questions. But if you ask questions, yeah. you're not too known. Just keep asking. So you get the right answers until you're satisfied. And you will end up gaining at the end of the day. Exactly. And, and I'm, I'm excited we're talking about this because I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who didn't know about all of these things and they are giddy giddy planning their wedding and they are choosing all sorts of venues. Well, me growing up, I wanted to get, get married in a plane. Hey. <laughs> Lots of girls. <laughs> I still have all those fantasies, yeah. you know. Yeah. However we'll do it, we'll still do it in a plane, you know, you as know, part I of my childhood fantasies. When, it's, when, it, when it comes to the, like, you know, that clause may be, you know, referring to where you actually sign the documents because the place the witnesses, that's what makes it valid. So you can do the signing at a registered place and you can do the ceremony because people don't really even see the bride and groom signing. Sometimes it's they still, do it it's still at the venue. At the venue, but you, the audience don't see oh, them. Yeah. So when it's done before they come and show. Mm -hmm. So always emphasize that it's done at the right venue. And you can have the wedding weather on the plane, mm. on the Titanic, wherever you want to have it. Yeah. Under the sea. Recently, I saw one under the sea, you know, you kind of wedding. I'm know. like, why the stress? <laughs> Amazing stuff. So that takes us to our next story for yeah. today. All right. And this is about last week, the 2020 VGMAs. Mm -hmm. Now we have a quote that I am disappointed. King Promise and Eno Baroni did not win anything. And that's what Rex Omar says. The veteran musician Rex Omar says he's disappointed that singer um, King Promise and rapper Eno Baroni did not win awards at the just ended 2020 Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. He said, judging from the two artists' exploits in the year under review, he saw no reason why anyone should have won the category they were nominated for. King Promise had three nominations on the night. That's High Life Artist of the Year, uh, Afrobeat Song of the Year, Male Vocalist of the Year, while Eno Baroni was nominated for the Hip Hop Song of the Year and best rapper of the year so that is our second story and i think it's an interesting one we mm -hmm. have Eno Barini sitting <laughs> <laughs> beside us i was like you're tapping the table a little bit but um, i know we all have our opinions concerning these things and our, uh, concerning award shows and things i want to find out first and foremost that do you think that female artists are marginalized in this industry I think I won't, I won't take that as a, I won't say yes to that. Okay. I think females in this industry, we are not really much. Okay. You understand? And so sometimes it feels like we are powerless, but we are not powerless. Anytime we actually unite to do anything, it actually goes everywhere. Nice. Yeah, so wow. I think we're still growing. Mm. Yeah, it will get to a point where females will take over soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So do you think that we don't appreciate your, your, your work of art then? People do. It's just that, um, you know, it's our culture. You know, in this country, it's not just this country, Africa as a whole, there were points where even women were not even given chance to speak in public. Mm. Yeah, it's now that everything has changed, but it's still like a system. Mm. Even in politics, in church, everything. So it's, I'm saying it's growing, it will come. They will actually recognize that. Okay. Yeah. I 
also want to know what you ladies also think concerning this. Since you might know some female artists as well, you probably have you know, your favorites and things. Do you think that we get um, good opportunities as women in the industry? Do you think that we, we are thriving in this industry? Do you think we are marginalized? Um, <laughs> marginalization, I wouldn't say so much. Mm. Nowadays, if you're being marginalized or you feel you're being brought down, the, the tools are there for you to fight for your rights. Mm. So most of the females, you know, they are, they are, you know, working hard, charting the path for themselves, and they're actually getting opportunities. You know, was it like a couple of months ago, you know, Barani and all the other, some of the other female, they were making like, you know, airways everywhere, you mm -hmm. know, making everybody talk about them. So when you actually stand up to do something and it's where it will be recognized. So sometimes I think we hide so much under the shadow that society, the society that, mm. and we don't, you know, um, really do what we are supposed to do. This is a time and age where you actually have to do what you set on your mind. Yeah. Don't listen to the naysayers or don't say tradition says that society says that, you know, if you've gone past that stage, you will lose a lot of opportunities if you don't take those things out of your ear. So I think females are not marginalized okay. at all. Like, we have a lot of opportunities now. Mm. It's a global village, you know. When something is going wrong, there are so many avenues where your voice can be heard. Yeah. If you have grievances, you can stand up and fight against those things. So don't, um, even if they are there, don't put in your head that they are marginalized. You know, right. look at where you want to be and, you know, work towards that. Oh, nice one. Anita, what do you also think about, you know, us getting the kind of representation that we need as women in the industry? I know? think we're already getting it. Artists. I mean, some mm -hmm. years back, mm -hmm. even when it comes to, uh, you know, our field, the TV presenters, journalists, you could see more men than even the women. Yeah. But now, take a look at our screens. The women are taking over. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the men, I would say they are behind, but you can see more representation of women. Yeah, when it comes to the music, we have the likes of Eno, Frida Rhyme, Sister Fia, doing amazing mm -hmm. stuff. And so, I hate for us to be boxed into that whole thing that, okay, uh, we are not being represented, well, we're not this, we're not mm -hmm. that. For the likes of um, Ifia and Becca, who do the kind of very uh, soulful music and all of that, go to other countries and mention their names. Their music are being played there, meaning they've been able to cross the borders and do amazing yeah. stuff mm -hmm. outside. And so, I do not agree in any sense of the word. If, mm -hmm. for whatever reason, uh, Eno didn't win an award in whatever category she was nominated in, first of all, she'd be nominated. She's as good as a winner. And she, she could have won, but for whatever reason, she didn't. But that doesn't One mean that it, you so. get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. She's still good. And I think... <laughs> yes, and I was listening to her on one of our sister stations, and she made a, a lot of solid points yeah. about, you know, how, um, you know, coming up, uh, certain challenges she faced and everything, and it's all shaped her into the woman she is today. Yeah, and yeah. so there's time for everything. Yeah. When it is the time, you will blow up, and exactly. she's blowing up, and she's doing amazing. And so there's nothing like marginalization or mm. be, not being represented yeah. anywhere. I like that you brought up challenges because I was really going to ask her about that mm -hmm. um, from the angle of the fact that Ghanaians, our tastes, our fundamental taste in music is not rap, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like it's very niched. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to break out of that to even appeal to other people? Mm -hmm. You know? I think I used to think like Ghanaians don't like rap, but they do like rap. Okay. Uh, especially In what when way? they said this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 because they know singers can't be for no, yeah. yeah. They like rap, you know. The thing is, when you're doing a job, and let's say you are in a uh, voter region, you don't come and sing in Dag Dagomba, Dagbani mm -hmm. to, you know. So let's say Ghanaians, we have our hip life and everything yeah. here, high life, and I'm a rapper. So what am I going to do to suit the ears of Ghanaians? Mm. I'll do the rap, yes, and then I'll add whatever beats that suits my country, and I'll mix it, and it's going to be okay. That's it. Nice. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Nice marketing strategy. And before yeah. before we do go on a break, I want to know uh, what you also think is the right way to you know go about getting the proper representation that we need as women in the industry. Yeah, I think um, like she said, we should not put in our head that you will be sidelined or this. Let's just keep moving forward and moving forward. Yeah, mm. and it's that's it. Exactly. Let me just add this thing. Okay. I was so like. 
um, proud when you just gave yourself the title, like, you know, the king of rap, you know. <laughs> I don't need anybody to give me an award before exactly. I feel I'm the king of rap. Exactly. I know the work I'm putting in, yeah. so. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And it's something that I always say, that you don't have to be working for an award. Why yeah. are you doing what yeah. you're doing? You have your own Thank purpose. You. Yeah. And someone decides that they want to award you, okay, yeah, you it's a blast, and it's great. <laughs> I and I award love it. you. But you need to put it <laughs> Putting your all into what you're doing, recognition yeah. will come at the right time. So, thank you so much. We'll be back after the break with more. <laughs> Welcome back it's to the Ladies Circle. And uh, for uh, this episode, we're asking you where your favorite wedding destination will be, or where uh, is your preferred wedding venue. Now, we have some comments on our social media pages. I'll be taking a couple of them. Uh, someone says, please, Kempinski, why? Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 This one, let me mention his name. Innocent K. Ahiamaji. Hey. It says, UN headquarters. Oh, hey. wow. Hey. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nanokia Papebi says, on the sea, because I like the waves. Then you should marry a fisherman. <laughs> 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 and this one, Miss Danilo says, at the market. Why the market? Maybe, maybe, no, maybe there's a story to it. Yeah. There's Ooh. a story to it. Trust your decor guy. I was okay. buying tomatoes and, and my then, eyes locked his. Okay. okay. At Makala Market. Uh, well, let me <laughs> find out from you ladies. <laughs> Where is your preferred wedding venue? <laughs> hey. the church. Everything okay. in the church. Yeah. Everything. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's why cool. the church though? Oh, oh okay. Wow. I like to be there. Oh, nice okay. okay. Who, who else? Uh, all right, I think you have to pass the microphone on. Pass the mic. Pass Where the mic is on. your preferred wedding venue? <laughs> a vineyard or a Ace. Is it in Ghana or where? Ace. Where exactly? That's Which nice. country? California. Hey. Hey. California. California. No, she'll find a way around yeah. it. And Charlie, I like it. Yeah, dream big, Charlie. It's yeah. very nice. Oh, yeah. Who else wants to share uh, their preferred wedding venue? Ladies, you all, you fantasize. You've all oh, dreamt that, oh, I want to get my Say it so, so that Say it so if your her future husband is watching, they will come for you, Joe. You can start Say budgeting. It. Hello. Actually, in the chat. In the, in the church. church. Yeah. Hey, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I like the church. You know I like it because right. of the acoustics. I was telling Eno, like, you know, when you get hallelujah, then you get it. You know, it's so beautiful. You walk down the aisle. Hallelujah. All right. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so we still have some comments on social media. Okay. This one from Mami Adra Mensa says, Hey, ladies, always looking gorgeous. I would love to have it okay. at the beach, though, but not under the sea. Nice one. <laughs> uh, this one says, I love these ladies. Uh, Anita, please tell Eno that I love her. Wow. And he's yes. added a lot of love and Ooh. some bomb, bomb emojis. Come on, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one says, Abra Koko, you're looking stunning. Crystal, oh, you are super. You. Anita, you're really yeah. a champ. Eno, thank rap you. goddess. Hashtag barons. <laughs> oh, the barons are representing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And this one says, I'm watching you guys from Bogatanga in the Upper East region. You're looking great. I love you guys. We love you too, of yes. course. Thank you so much for always tuning in. And we're getting a lot of love on Twitter as well. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ah, uh, still the Lady Circle. <laughs> At this point, we're taking a break. When we come back, we have a surprise for you. I'm sure most of you didn't expect it, but we're about to drop some bars. Mopa is 16 and now Mopa and I had record 50 bars. Well, Eno will be performing live right here on the Lady Circle. Newsday will be right back. <laughs> You do me, I do you. Every day I de catch you. You beg me, I forgive you. You do it all over again. The one in yawa, where you know they get from my dad. What's your kid, papa? Baby, you deserve to know. Zero BJ wa I am oh 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 Baby, you deserve to know. Tell me I'm on channel, my dad. 
you to perform for which me. one mm. force them to play dance oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that song what what that song does to me eh? <laughs> it was on repeat back to back at a point <laughs> i was like hey hey i've played this song i, I streamed it on audio mac for only god knows how oh, many times that song you. is a jam but thank let's you. talk about the new one you have enough yeah. is enough enough is enough what is enough is enough? i don't bring that <laughs> 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 so this is a girl's anthem you know um it's turning into something it's like if you want to be on top in music you need to before somebody mm -hmm. helps you even at the work side like in schools lecturers pastors everything so it's like i'm telling all girls who are victims and those who are not yet victims enough is enough, enough let's is stand enough. against that of yeah. course yes. powerful powerful <laughs> But you have an album coming up as well. Yeah, Ladies First album. And I mean, this is all the kind of ladies. Enough, say. <laughs> <laughs> enough is know, enough right? is the first song of the album. Yeah, so it's it's actually featuring all girls, like all females. Hey, then you have to feature yeah. myself, Crystal. Let that be. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah hey, we are hey. this you. Give me one line. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Anna? We have a game yeah. we're playing. Wow. It's called guilty, not guilty. So I'll be asking a series of questions, mm -hmm. and then yes. if you're guilty, you show your your card and you say you're. Okay. So are you ready? Okay. All right. The first one says, "Have you ever cried because you lost a competition before?" Maybe when mm. I was a child. It's not right. guilty. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It was cricket. We were supposed to be first, and they cheated us. So yes. I'm not a soul loser like that. Yeah, not oh. a soul loser like nah. that. Mm. Uh, next one says, have you ever stood someone up on a date? Hmm. I honor my word, so. <laughs> I'm yet, hey, I know, who is that? <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I say a lot. <laughs> if you make it, you make it. The next one is a bit somewhere, but it says, have you ever peed in your pants before? Oh, when I was a <laughs> baby, mm. yes. When you, have, you know sometimes you really want to pee, but you're waiting to get home. <laughs> and so by the time you get home, yeah. you've already peed. <laughs> and the painful thing is being uh, like a superstar and you hey. feel like peeing or oh, no. around <laughs> the <laughs> National <laughs> Theatre. You, you know, get you anywhere to go. Oh, yes. Uh, the next one says, have you ever broken up with someone over 
a text message. Mm. No. <laughs> I can be a little petty, but no, not to that extent. Yeah. I, 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 I have. Oh, you're yeah, guilty. Nice. I just had yes, it. I'm guilty. You just had you it. You have a lot I'm, in common. I've just had it. <laughs> like, <laughs> share, share with us. Share with us. If it's whether it's in person or not in person, the feeling is still the same. Yeah. Do you get it? So yeah. there was no need for I just broke up and then blocked the person. I don't have <laughs> time for it. But how did you start it? Was it in person? No, 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 no. Like, it also started over the phone. I, I had, like, let's say we had tried to break up in person a couple of times. Ah, okay. You know, or the way that down, now they are chain. I'm yeah, like, this one there. I woke enough up one morning. I woke up one morning. I'm like, I can't deal with you anymore. Now. <laughs> I just broke up with him and that was it, yeah. I'm not Coco. I can't deal with you. The last one says, have you ever given a fake name to someone? Oh, that's oh, what they did. Come, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Nah, me, I don't oh, do boom. fake name. Oh, I don't do fake name. So yeah. if it's, yeah, I'm not Coco, I'm not Coco. Yeah. Yeah, I like that's that. Nice. <laughs> that's nice. But, you know, yeah. let, let, let me come back to you. Let, mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of your projects, things you're working on that you yeah. want us to know. Kahana, it's all my exclusives. Yeah, sure, sure, because it's even a lady's of thing. Of course. Yes. Now I'm being all chick, chick, chick. Yeah. <laughs> and hella yeah. sexy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the, the album that is coming up, the title is Ladies First and it's featuring only females, like Ooh. I said, but I won't mention the names. But you have but one with Shay. Yeah, Wendy Shay mm -hmm. is the first one yeah. of yeah. the album. Okay. And the other one's coming in. This one, we're going to have some female producers on it. Wow. Nice. Female directors. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And, our, and a female thing. DJ too. So oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw that post. That was a yeah. new one. That's nice impressive. One. But yeah. how is it like trying to get the ladies on board? Is it easy? Is it difficult? What has been your experience so far? Um, I think if you are difficult, you're not ready, so I just move on. You just yeah. move on. I like yeah. that. Simple as Simple. that. Yeah. Wow. But, but ladies, uh, I, I'm leaving everything to you now. <laughs> Won't you ask me anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I think you've asked all the questions. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Me, I just love her music, so I'm just excited that she's moving on yeah. and that exactly. she's going, you know, all out for it. She's got the confidence for it, so I'm just wishing her the very best in this. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But I know, remember what to force them to... Remember my lines got crazy as well, but this one is coming from a very special someone... <laughs> She was your teacher in school, okay. and she says, uh, greet Eno for me. Tell her Madam Ruth from St. Peter's Methodist School. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she mentioned your name to me on Thursday. I was like, I told her, Eno is coming on the street. Oh she said, I thought Eno is coming on Go, Madam. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, so she has to know you're stubborn with school. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Ruth, yeah, eh? she really liked me. She yeah. scared me a lot. Uh, uh, Madam Ruth, Ruth, anything I do, she says it reflects on her. Then she killed me for oh. that. Yeah, but she was shaping exactly. me. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Auntie Ruth, your 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 baby is here. But yeah. I know, like like yeah. I keep saying, force them to play nonsense. You have to give us something, Joe. Sure, sure. Because my my ladies, answer, they won't force them to play nonsense. Anna. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> so you want us to go? Oh, let's go. Come on. Okay, okay, let's go. Everybody, hey. let's go. Ah. Ah. Okay, forget map, make a show you road. Hey, hey. minimum the bunk road, see. Yeah, you can't slow. You see, what do you say? I see a chrome. Ha, you say, you're not going to be a chrome. You're 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 going to be a chrome. you I they use common sense. Oh, now I tell nice man. You hear her? Ha 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 ha! I see our life. You just watch your crack 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 crack. Who be coming there? Who be perko? You are the carry on now, me. Cause I'm a loser, you baby. You're my enemy, you got it. Hello? How far? How far? Hey, my mission, you got it. Hello? Hello? How far? How far? One, two, three. I give it down. Hello. Oh, oh God, you're such a vibe, you're such a vibe. <laughs> but we have just uh, some few minutes to go, I guess. Ladies, you're looking stunning. Thank you. I know, do you have a stylist? Yeah, yeah, I do. I have a couple of them, like, you know, we still add in. So oh, new ones. Right. Your style is always very different. Yeah. yeah, yeah very. Yeah, because yeah, I'm different. Do you like black? It looks like you like black. I do love black. They say I'm dark. I shouldn't wear black, but oh, I love Nah, it looks so sexy. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, but Crystal, who are you wearing? Well, today it's Ellen's clothing. She does oh. most of my clothing for me. Thank you. And, woo! I've got 
<laughs> Auntie Alice on the hair and needle crush shoes. <laughs> All right. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who styled you and who are you wearing? Trends Arena. Oh, Trends Arena. Del hair foot. Danu Huka Kramay. Danu Huka Kramay. Free, free, free. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Abra Koko. Hey, be care, baby. Today I'm feeling like, you know, hot Cinderella. That's Age. right. Age. In my Age. dress. That's Age. right. Age. 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 <laughs> and this is designed by Mr. Free from Meros. I'm going to put all the details on my Instagram, my hair, styled by makeup, CJZ makeover. <laughs> Today I'm taking over from Helen. Miami de Couture. And it's so, I love it. Miami de Couture. It looks like Lily, I'm, li I'm liking the Go yes, for a date tonight. Content. Go and kill him, whoever he is. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shy? And family. Oh, who are they? Who are they? Papa, no. <laughs> oh, Papa, no, it's gone all of a sudden. <laughs> now you and her taking over. Back. But on that, you and no, this has been the Ladies Circle. Eno, thank you so much for joining us. We had such a haven't we had such a great time? Yeah. We had fun, right? Exactly. This has been the Ladies Circle. And of course, we're back next week with yes, so much yes, more, yes. lots of issues to talk about. Thank you so much for joining us. Eno, fire kwe. My baby. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. That's the one I want to hear. That's the one I want to hear. Give us a new one. Okay. Who the cap fits? Hey. Let them wear it. Ekuti ani mira. Mo amo so so ma. Hey, ma. Ya bremo me ma. E twenty ya munja chaso a chebe hunira na wa bro. E chebe hunira na wa bro. Everybody ah. E chebe hunira na wa bro. Thank you. Hey, and. Oh, but this has been the Lady oh. Circle. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been fun. And we thank you so much for coming. And of course, you know this is home. Sure. Your new one, when you say hi, you're a you're a boss. You're a boss. All right, my name is Anita Yekia Kupa. I've been doing this with Crystal Kwame Yai. And of course, Enno Baroli, king of rap. Rap goddess yeah. was our special on. guest. And I'm Bina <laughs> Koko. I will be live on TV. If you don't forget, after this is the news at 6 p.m. And then afterwards, it's music, music with Empress Dick Tabi and Nana Kujo Adu. Tomorrow is GMB, uh, Today's Human, a lot. It's a weekend. I'm person make a sabi bri. Hiya na wata wushi. Person make a sabi. Yeah, yeah, show fi. What you say? I'm gonna see you later, ladies. What do you have said? Bye bye.